Hello, welcome back to RimWorld. Uh, right. First of all, sorry about the mic clipping a lot in the last episode. <laughs> that shouldn't happen again. I didn't notice it while I was recording. Uh, I still have a bit of issues with my setup. Anyway, what are we up to? We now have a thrall who's busy cleaning this room. Yeah, getting the place cleaned up a bit. Uh, getting some things fixed as well. And after that, I think, you know, we might be okay for a little bit now. We should be a bit stable. We've got the basics down. Nothing's great, but, you know, it's good enough. We'll start getting some crafting done. And uh, get back to doing some research. Right, this can also now be a room for our thralls, too. Uh, and then I think the next thing to do is properly wall this stuff in. So I'll make a start on that next. I'm going to move this uh, wind turbine over a bit so I can build a bit more in this area. Uh, which is a bit unfortunate. I don't have much steel left. And to 100. I've marked up this stuff for mining and these components here. Uh, I've set up our... What's your name? Gideon? I've set up Gideon, Gideon's um, labors. So that He does the in, indoors stuff first. Um, since, yeah, people remarked that Thrall shouldn't be allowed to just wander around the map too much, so... Alright, he can work on uh, farming and construction only when crafting tasks are done. And uh, quite a few of them on the bench now. They're making full sets of clothing, plus these slave items that... It says that they um, increase slave suppression, so... I guess we'll have him in those. I mean, it says what? He's pretty suppressed at the moment. Slave Rebellion interval is 26 days, apparently. Uh, we'll see how he gets on. I was also told to look at the extract hemogen operation. Oh, okay, so it doesn't require medicine. I thought it might. So... Maybe if he's low on blood as well, that might um, <laughs> prevent him from rebelling too much. I don't know. Uh, anyway, right. I'll speed up time, we'll see what happens today. And I'll just let them get uh, things cleaned up and taken care of. And then I'll start planning out some buildings. Never mind. Uh, we're being <laughs> raided by a group of Etikin. Uh, it's a group of one from the looks of things. Etikin. Uh, engineered to thrive on ultra cold planets. You are in the wrong place, my friend. Uh, animal war, war call. Carries of this gene can perform an animal war call using a powerful bellow and psychic connection to call the animal to fight for them. Well, that's interesting. These guys are aggressive with strong melee. And they're robust. Okay, so we might have a bit of difficulty meleeing this guy. Uh, do you have anything that makes you hot? Or fur skin? Minimum comfortable temperature increase. That doesn't make them too hot though, it looks like. I guess I guess he's fine in the desert. Alright. Probably should be wearing something though. Oh, it's actually quite cool out at the moment. 21 degrees. Not too bad. Uh, well, I'll see if I can capture this guy. Oh, it's Chewbacca. Okay, I get it now. Was that the operation? Yeah, okay. So he had his blood extracted. And now has moderate blood loss, okay. Alright, beginning the assault. Uh, Kuzbo, did I ever make you a new bow? I think I set this up, but didn't force it, right? Uh, okay. Let's make sure Hexaflex goes in first, but we'll get everyone to melee. Why not? I might take a bit of a beating. Oh, maybe not. How badly did you get hit? I mean, Hexa got cut up pretty badly, but... I guess in his case it doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, this guy's survived as well. 
And we got some silver. Uh, he, okay, he lost an arm and a kidney. So he's not in great shape. Uh, we can capture him to just halve his blood from him, though, I suppose. That's not too bad. I'll get Kuzpai to do that. Alright, he's set up for a hemogen farm. <laughs> like, so already in the... doing the work. Mm-hmm. This is fine. Alright, Gideon is now wearing a human leather slave collar, so... If that doesn't keep him in line, I don't know what will. Another raid. Uh, a group of Neanderthals this time. Uh, once again, very small group. Let's see, Neanderthals. Uh, also aggressive with strong melee damage and robust, okay. And reduce pain. So, looks like these guys do actually tolerate the heat more as well, which is quite good. Alright, let's see if we can keep this guy in one piece then. Uh, it's not like we can, I mean, <laughs> I'm probably not set up yet for more and more rolls, but, uh, you know, it still would be nice to keep him in one piece. When I am interested in recruiting more people, I might have to take the masterwork alongside of Hexaflex. He's a bit too lethal with it. Alright, Assault is beginning. This boy almost has a bow back. Being crafted, but... Okay, <laughs> well he didn't survive. Um, how bad we, we didn't get injured too badly though either. That's okay. Right, let's extract the skull before we butcher. A lovely new skull spike for us. All right, nice new wind turbine too. Uh, whoops. Let's uh, run that there then, I suppose. Actually, it would be better to run it away from the grass in case you want to use that. And then I can get rid of this one and start building walls. We are also being visited by our friends from Eastern Asphuntula. Does they have some items for trade. I'm not sure how this gazelle ended up in our colony. I should really take care of that as well. I'll send a Hexa to go and take care of that. And then he can head out and do some trading. I'm not suspecting they're going to have much, but you never know. Uh, they don't have much. I will take their five components, though. <laughs> they have a psychic foil helmet. Interesting. I'll just grab the components for now, though. Oh, Kuspo's got a bow. Excellent. Uh, quest available. Uh, one of our relics. Uh, one of our lethal weapon relics. So, learn that a relic is nearby. The Nosferatu is an ancient object venerated by all Lightless. So, we can now get information about that. Make Hexaflex even more lethal, why not? <laughs> It'd be pretty good. Oh, we get to see what the traits are on it as well. Mad Wailing and Kill Sorrow. His weapon's persona is highly disturbed and won't shut up about it. It whirls mad notions to whoever is bonded with, suppressing their mood. And Kill Sorrow, this weapon's persona hates killing. Oh god, this sounds like an awful weapon to wield. <laughs> You're gonna have to find someone who's especially sanguine to wield that, I think. Alright, Gideon now also has a 
cloth slave body strap. So <laughs> I'm sure he's very happy about that. Uh, he looks fantastic. Oh, and we have a ritual opportunity. Okay. Uh, it is eternity night. I imagine our mood from this is not going to be great. It's not exactly an amazing room for <laughs> rituals. 34%? We can give it a, ch a shot. Why not? Maybe we'll get lucky. The guys deserve to celebrate a bit, you know. A pretty short speech from Hexa. The guys uh, <laughs> spending time together, not with the uh, lowly thrall. It's interesting, do they have social relationships with Gideon then? Alright, oh, it's Kuzpai's brother, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh wow, fun eternity note. Alright, it was worth doing. What do we get from that? Uh, we get 5 mood for 6 days, and 10 goodwill with mowing Quo. Pretty good. Yeah, I guess there's no mood penalty from uh, being a thrall. Right, it looks like the guys have naturally caught up to the hauling and cleaning tasks too, so... Yeah, now on research. Okay. So I'm going to think about how exactly I want to lay this out. And I'll plan out some walls and things. Something like this, maybe? It kind of looks like a fort, right? We'll do this um, in a section first. And then this would be like mostly just interior castle stuff. Maybe like another courtyard in the middle. Um, so I'll do these like as corridors. You can use these rooms for something as well. And then I think this area would just be like buildings and nice fancy stuff around the main courtyard with the oasis. And then we'll turn this into like a more dense uh, rooms and stuff. More slave stuff here as well, I think. Something like this anyway. Uh, so let's see. You only need to do one layer of this wall to start with, but I'll place it all down anyway. It's a lot. It's going to require a tremendous amount of bricks. Um, I've forbidden the exterior bit though for now. It's just going to be the inner wall. That's fine. Uh, I'll put another little door in here so they can get through easily. Attackers should still then just come through this temporary corridor if I open this door, I think. So that should all be fine. Uh, yeah, it might take a while to build all this though with just, uh, <laughs> just three people, but that's okay. The work in progress. Oh yeah, I can also then start deconstructing this too. We've got a new one. This one shouldn't be blocked, no. Uses up a bit of our grass, but that's okay. Also, the interior part of the wall is going to be marble, since that's going to probably connect to other rooms and stuff. And the exterior part is just sandstone. Since it doesn't matter as much. Uh, quest level Helga and the Squirrels. A ten-year-old child named... this is a charity quest. A charity quest is gonna be all of you children now. Alright, we're gonna have to kill... a pack of eight manhunting squirrels might be kind of rough, actually. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> the rule is we have to enslave everybody asking for charity, so...
Hopefully we can deal with all these squirrels. That might be kind of rough. Uh, Helga. You do not have a double passion in <laughs> social or intellectual. So, uh, we will have to enslave you, I'm afraid. Nimble Misandrist. Alright, here's the Manhunter pack. I think, is this the one where if we leave them alone, they'll just um, die eventually? Yeah, so we could just hide in the base for five days. Which might not be a bad idea. But, I mean, let's give this a shot. I mean, Hexaflex is never going to die. And then I guess we'll have Gideon and Helga on either side of him. With Kuzboy firing arrows from the back. Actually, this would be even better in the doorway, wouldn't it? Uh, let's see. <laughs> Pretty vicious. Okay, as long as Hexa just one-shots that. Okay, we, looks like we can all one-shot them. That's good. You never know with man-hunting animal packs. They can be pretty uh, deadly. Alright. I'm not sure if I have a stockpile for rotten corpses. But uh, hopefully. I'll set one up. Oh. Oh, okay, I do. <laughs> That's funny. That's exactly where I was going to put it. I already did one there. Alright. Yeah, we'll get all of those hauled away then, I think, since they are stinking up the place a bit. And <laughs> Helga. Hate to do this to you, but... um, Yeah, welcome to the colony. Uh, first of all, we'll try and convert you to our... Ideal Legion. Another person might not... I mean, it's nice to have people who can do social and medical, but... It would also be nice if we had people that can do more use. So then again, I mean... If thralls shouldn't be wandering around the colony, I guess construction and growing and stuff aren't great for them, are they? Alright, question. Can you make... child size slave collars and slave body straps? Looks like no. In fact, it doesn't look like you can even do kid dusters. Hmm, I wonder how kids manage the heat then. Uh, another thing that I guess we will find out once it warms up again on the tile. Insulting's pretty hexaflex. I'm not sure it was dull barracks, okay. Helga compared Hexaflex to a seahorse. Hexaflex compared Helga's mother to a terrorist. And Kuzmos has really low recreation. Maybe I need more variety besides bathing and uh, wooden horseshoe pen. We can make a few other things. Even make them out of blocks, which is quite nice. Okay. Except like it's called Kuzpai's father a hair. Wait a minute. <laughs> Except you are Kuzpai's father. Did you forget that? Or <laughs> please have all your limbs. All right, he's got all his limbs. Okay. What a dysfunctional family. I thought mine was bad. All right, I'll try and get a chess table down in here with some cloth sitting cushions. <laughs> Which are from uh, extended furniture. Saves us using steel to make dining chairs. Give them a little bit more recreation, I suppose. Elga has gone berserk. My nostril was malnourished. We have meals. Uh, Helga spoke badly of Hexaflex's nose. Uh, let's not draft Hexaflex. Let's draft Gideon. Okay, she's going berserk on, <laughs> on Chewbacca. Alright, that might end poorly, I don't know. Uh, right leg destroyed. Okay, great. Well. I mean, let's try and calm her down then. I'm 
starting to think that my um, my skills managing children are going to be about the same as my skills managing animals. Um, do, I, do I really want a roll with a missing leg? Is it time for us to do another public execution? We could get six mood from another execution, I suppose. Or I could just set this person up to be part of the hemogen farm for a bit first. How are you doing? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> all our potential uh, additions to the colony now missing limbs. And I guess we'll just keep them around for blood for a bit. We're still okay on food. Well, Kuzbo's mood is not great at the moment. Intense pain, did dumb liner, blinding light, sunlight sensitivity. He's choosing to go for a walk, which is probably not the best um, recreation op option for a vampire. I guess I should also move this indoors, actually, then. Stick it down in here for now. Our Kuzpa is now wandering in a daze due to dull pain. And Hexaflex is extracting the blood from Helga. There's one way of looking at it is that thralls with a bunch of missing limbs might be easier to handle during a rebellion, right? Maybe I should just, uh... Maybe I should just bring them into the fold, I don't know. How are you doing, Gideon? Slave Rebellion Interval 1 year. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Probably seen how we treat people. War merchant. That might be quite good if we could get some guns for people. Let's see what they've got. Don't want to interrupt Hexa while he's building something though. Alright, he's interrupted himself. Let's go and, <laughs> go and do some trading. Uh, okay, no guns, just uh, bows and things. A flame bow. That sounds interesting, although our vampires don't like fire, so probably shouldn't. We do have some pretty bad clothing I can offload, though, which is nice. Some junk weapons, too. Alright, made 126 silver, at least. And questable Roska Kasba's Dusty Nomads. Okay, interesting. This is a charity quest. This might be multiple people. This might be kind of hard. Okay, sounds like it's two people. They claim to have escaped an organ harvesting operation. <laughs> uh, okay then. So, what I could do is execute our current prisoners. And then take these two as prisoners. They both appear to be humans. Or baseliners. They are... They wish for the Commune of Ra. That sounds really cool. Child labor is encouraged. <laughs> well, that's an interesting one. And, let's see. Incapable of firefighting is not great for us. Underground with a great memory. More medical, crafting, animals, mining... That's pretty nice. And an ugly, careful shooting early bird. More animals and mining. Neither of them are unwavering. Okay. I think we'll get rid of our current crop of uh, prisoners. Let's see. I'll execute. It's funny how it <laughs> default is the child. I'll execute Chewbacca. Oh, that's, um, Watentus. Right as we schedule our execution, we get an eclipse. Surely this will be a good ritual, then, surely. Exaflex, explain the methods of execution. Exaflex described the symbolism of death. Satisfying public execution. Uh, everyone could feel that justice was being upheld. <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, Helga. I mean, let's just... Let's just quietly enable that option and then uh, solar flow. Alright, well... I think that one's a bad omen. Alright, I guess this is going to go and do it. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is a dark playthrough, I don't like this. Uh, okay. Let's see if I can imprison these people though. First of all, let's bring them here. They can drop their weapons. Probably a good start. Actually, you can start cleaning for a second while I do this. Uh, Nosto, you can drop your weapon too. And then help. Oh, this is cosmetic blood. It's not actually dirty, it looks like. Okay. Uh, well, that's also pretty interesting. Uh, let's bring you in here then for a second. Let's see if I can arrest you both simultaneously. So Hexa, 100% chance. Coos by 83% chance. Well... Successful, anyway. Uh, sure, we'll extract the skull of that child. Seems like a great idea. Holiness left unburied. Interesting. Personally, I don't count that person as a colonist, so... I'll just do that. Alright, Hexaflex is enjoying a nice game of chess by himself. Still sitting on Catharsis. But, um... Yeah, mood's pretty good. Same story for Kuzbo. My rival Helga died. How on earth was she your rival? We got some odd colonists, man. Uh, Manhunter pack. A pack of manhunting hares. A uh, pretty small pack, too. Shouldn't be too bad then. We'll do the same thing again. Seemed to work fine last time. Might be a nice place to end the episode as well. I mean, things are okay now, right? Colonies come along, we've got 29 meals. Walls are coming along, got a harvest coming in. Two healthy and entirely intact prisoners in our prison cell. Doesn't seem bad, right? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, Nosto and Gideon get muscle parasites. Okay, well. I mean, besides that, we're doing okay. Seems like we take care of small mammals pretty quickly, which is also nice. Uh, whoops, that was the wrong... There we go. And, uh, yeah, I'll send Gideon on a cleaning spree as well. Since we don't have anyone prioritizing cleaning at the moment, so the place just <laughs> constantly looks filthy. Uh, it might be worth moving a lot of stuff into this room next. Temporarily, at least. Or even give, give the um, colonists some temporary bedrooms over here. Because it might take quite a while before even this interior wall gets finished. Probably not a bad idea. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'll uh, leave the episode there. So thanks as always for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. And hopefully the mic sound is a bit better this time. Uh, yeah, but thanks for watching and I will see you next time.